How to use the True Steel Infusion Set To begin, you will want to work on a clean surface. Be sure to wash your hands and clean your insertion site. Please refer to your healthcare provider's recommendations when selecting an insertion site. First, remove the circular protective cap from the connector needle, then connect the coupling housing to the tubing. Be sure you have the connector needle right side up, otherwise it will not connect properly. You should hear a click when it connects. Then, attach the infusion set tubing to the tubing lock connector on the cartridge. Twist clockwise until finger tight, and then twist another quarter of a turn to ensure a secure connection. Hold the true steel infusion set by the retaining wings. Fill the tubing according to the instructions in your tandem pump user guide. Make sure you hold the needle pointing down to ensure that insulin does not come in contact with the adhesive backing paper. Make sure there are no gaps of air in your tubing to reduce the possibility of interrupted insulin delivery. Never fill tubing while the set is connected to your body. Always disconnect before filling your tubing. Next, while holding the set by the retaining wing, carefully remove the adhesive backing of the infusion set. Then, carefully remove the needle guard by gently pulling it, taking care not to touch the needle itself. When inserting the True Steel needle, Create a skin fold in order to reduce the risk of placing the needle in a muscle. To do this, pinch the skin at the insertion site with one hand, grasp the retaining wings of the infusion set with the other hand. Insert the true steel needle straight into the skin fold. Press down on the back of the adhesive tape to secure the set to your skin. Next, remove the paper backing from the coupling housing. Attach the coupling housing to a location on your skin that will allow for easy disconnection. Ensure that the short tail of tubing between the needle and coupling housing is not too tight. Because it doesn't use a separate introducer needle, the True Steel does not require a cannula fill. Once the set is inserted, you should skip the fill cannula step and the load process. Set your site reminder for 24 to 48 hours, then resume insulin. Always check your blood sugar two hours after inserting to make sure it's working properly. When disconnecting from your pump, Always disconnect from your site. Never disconnect at the tubing lock. You may want to temporarily disconnect from your pump at times such as showering, swimming, and contact sports. To disconnect, place a finger on the front of the coupling housing and gently squeeze the sides of the connector needle. Pull the connector needle straight out from the coupling housing. Cover the connector needle with the circular protective cap. Then insert the disconnect cover into the coupling housing until you hear it click. To reconnect your set, remove the circular protective cap. With the needle pointing down, fill the infusion set until you see insulin drip from the connector needle. Remember to never fill your tubing unless your set is disconnected. Now, remove the cover from the coupling housing. Place your finger in front of the coupling housing and push the connector needle straight in until you hear a click. We hope you found this video helpful. If you still have questions about infusion sets, please contact customer support at 877-801-6901. They're available 24 hours a day and happy to help.